It is our duty to fight for freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love and protect one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Ashe. On May 25, 2020, police officer Derek Chauvin murdered George Floyd on camera in Minneapolis, Minnesota for the world to witness. The following weeks would be filled with worldwide protests. I felt obligated to hit the streets of Los Angeles with the people. This is my experience through film and photo. This is Black June. And we know that the work that we do is grounded in spirit. We're going to begin with the pouring of libation. We know that libation is the summoning in, it's the recognition of the spirits whose names that we struggle on behalf of. It's a recognition of our grandmothers and grandfathers and aunties and uncles and all of those who walked before us. It's a recognition of the freedom fighters who we hope to honor through our own work. And so we're going to pour libation in three stages. First, beginning with the names of those who's, on whose behalf we struggle. And I want to begin by calling the name Brendan Glenn. Anthony Vargas. Anthony Vargas. Ashe. Daniel Hernandez. Daniel Hernandez. Ashe. Jesse Romero. Jesse Romero. Ashe. Oscar Grant. Oscar Grant. Ashe. John Horton. John Horton. Ashe. This next set of libations is poured in the names of the freedom fighters who walked before us. We're going to be intentional about calling out African ancestors, the names of the revolutionary African ancestors that have brought us this far down Freedom's Road. Um, so we're going to begin by calling their names. We're going to call the name Ya Asantewa. Ya Asantewa. Ashe. Mama Harriet Tubman. Mama Harriet Tubman. Ashe. Gabriel Prosser. Gabriel Prosser. Ashe. Denmark Bessie. Denmark Bessie. Ashe. Sojourner Truth. Sojourner Truth. Ashe. Nat Turner. Nat Turner. Nat Turner. Ashe. Do we agree that Jackie Lacey must go? Do we agree that Black Lives Matter? Do we agree that our students are students and scholars, not suspects? I stand proudly being black and Afro-Latina both. And I firmly say Black Lives Matter. And I firmly say Jackie Lacey must 
must go. And I firmly say, treat our students as scholars and not suspects. We have got to reimagine, we've got to re-envision what it can look like without criminalizing our youth. more than I could ever say to my family because we have felt so silenced with his story for so long. And even just standing here and hearing everyone say his name was so important and so moving for me and it means the world, so thank you so much. My brother was murdered by, the, by an LAPD union director's daughter, Tony McBride. Her father is Jamie McBride. There is so much conflict of interest. We do not trust the system. Our family does not trust the system to do an investigation of themselves. It breaks my heart because I wasn't there, but I was there. I would take the metro every single day to Cal State Long Beach, and I knew the pain and the suffering, and it was not okay for these police to kill her son because she could not, because he could not pay a fare just to get on the train. That is not okay. Oh. Fuck the police, I'm tired of these motherfuckers. Oh. I can think they just gonna sweep all this shit under the rug like it ain't never happened. Yeah, they think, oh, you know what? She just, you know, she'll forget about it. She'll just, you know, disappear. Bitch, I'm right here standing tall, bitch. I was my only child. He was 23 years old. He was the best part of me. It hurts me so much. I'm Jackie Lacey. She didn't even prosecute these guys. Christopher was polite. He showed no threat to them. And they still murdered him. There was father, um, in his words, my son was only 14 years old when killer cop LAPD um, Ida Medina shot and killed him in broad daylight. These laws are meant for these fucking killer cops to get away with murder. After they murdered my nephew, they issued a statement to the family saying sorry, it wasn't him. No fuck their apology. My son John Horgan was beaten to death and then sent to jail on March the 30th, 2009. I've been fighting for 11 years now to try to get Jackie Lace and whoever holds this job to do that goddamn job. It was a traffic stop, and um, they came out with their guns drawn, and the next thing, my son was dead. Um, they left my son to die. They, they blocked all streets so no ambulance could even help him. They didn't give him no CPR, nothing. They left him to die. In, in the whole history of uh, the United States, the impact of racism had been to attempt to contain black people has been to attempt to stifle the uh, uh, desire towards liberation. One of the ways in which this is accomplished is by trying to convince black people that they're completely powerless before this huge apparatus and that uh, the police can just come into the community and, and uh, pick someone out, kill them as they have done on many, many occasions in the past, charge them with something they didn't do, railroad them to prison, send them to the uh, gas chamber. Uh, this is just one of the many ways that uh, the system, and it's not. 
a contrived effort in the sense that it's done consciously by a few men up at the top. It's built into the system. It's built into our uh, it's, 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 it's built into the nature of the society and getting back to the question of what a revolutionary is, a re black revolutionary realizes that uh, we cannot begin to combat racism, we cannot begin to effectively destroy racism until we destroy the whole system. Yeah. 